Today's video brought to you by Inwin Classic Series Power Supplies. For classic styling, 80 plus platinum power efficiency and fully modular cable management, the Inwin C Series has it all. Click in the video description for more details. Hey guys, Sean here from Quastex. So firstly, yes, I want to apologize for the audio. In my Crosshair 6 Hero unboxing, it was less than average. I had technical difficulties and there wasn't a lot I could do about it, so I do apologize for that. So today we're going to be checking out the Crosshair 6 Hero in a bit more detail. Now there was a bunch of questions asked by you guys about this board. Most of them I can answer, some of them I still cannot due to NDA. And this was partly the reason why I didn't go into too much detail in the first video. So let's dive into it and get up close and personal with the Crosshair 6 Hero. So we'll check out the I.O. first and we have 8 USB 3.0 ports, 4 USB 2.0 ports, a USB 3.1 Type A and Type C, 5 channel audio with optical out and a M.2 E key which is for a Wi-Fi module. This Wi-Fi module is not included in the motherboard so you will have to buy this separately. The board itself does have RGB LEDs and will come on when the board is powered. I had to jumpstart my power supply to get them to work as I don't have a CPU so they won't cycle through like the Maximus 8 series just with your 24 pin standby power. The board also has two 4 pin RGB LED headers that will do 2 meters of 50 50 LEDs each. So that's a total of 4 meters of LED strip you can have inside your case. Now the biggest question I have been asked is will my AM3 Plus cooler fit in this motherboard? The answer is yes, yes they will fit. As you can see, I took the blocks off to reveal both mounting holes for AM3 Plus and AM4 cooling solutions. I think this is a great initiative by ASUS to save you guys extra money on upgrading to Ryzen. The other really unique part about this board is this water cooling zone. This zone has headers for temperature in, temperature out, so if you want to monitor your temps either side of a block or radiator, it also has a water flow sensor header and a water pump header. There is also an all-in-one water pump header at the top of the motherboard for your all-in-one water pump to be separate from your CPU fan header. All of this can be controlled and monitored with the included DIP5 software, so this makes water cooling extremely easy on the Crosshair 6 Hero. The power on this board is quite impressive. The board features a 12 plus 2 phase power delivery system and they have actually moved some of the power drivers to the back of the board. This is just to help dissipate heat from the VRM section itself. You also get an 8 plus 4 pin CPU power, so overclocking on this board shouldn't be a problem as far as power is concerned. Staying on the overclocking features, the board also has voltage testing points next to the 24 pin power. These points allow you to measure the true volts with a multimeter to ensure you're getting the correct voltage throughout your board. The onboard audio is also being improved. The board is rocking the new Supreme FX S1220 codec, which has a 13 dB SNR or signal to noise ratio line in. It also has the ES9023P audio DAC with integrated two VRMS driver. This DAC is capable of negative 94 dB, which will give you fantastic audio clarity. Well guys, hopefully I answered all of your questions, or at least most of them. I know there is still some that I have not touched on, and that's due to NDA. Now, pricing on this board has been released here locally in Australia at $349. So for $349, I think you get absolutely fantastic value for money. Given the hardware features and the software features of this motherboard, I don't think you can go wrong with your Ryzen build. So I hope these videos have helped you decide which X370 motherboard you are going to choose for your Ryzen build. Don't forget to subscribe for more news like this on the Crosshair 6 Hero. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Crosshair 6. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.